Hey guys, and it's Darkrai1998. I am doing a team video with the Nerdy Tiger here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you want to tell them what we're going to be doing? I will indeed. Basically guys, I like to experiment with subscription boxes. So I have got one here called Tokyo Treats. Show you guys the box there, looking very cute. I'm going to cover this sticker on the back because that's my details. And I don't want the entire world knowing where I live. <laughs> but it's a really nice box. Um, most subscription boxes will actually plaster your address on top of the package which yeah. is really inconvenient if you want to do a YouTube video or you want to keep the box because they look really nice. I would think some people actually mark their names as yeah. well so when they do the video it doesn't say anything. Yeah, but I don't have a marker so I don't have a marker that's got ink in it. Um, but yeah, with it just being a little sticker on the back it's much easier to just hide that sticker mm. or hide the tear off from it. Yep. So this box is the Tokyo Treats Premium Box. It's a monthly subscription, which costs $30. That's about £28 for anyone in Britain. <laughs> okay. And it's just a box straight from Japan, filled with various Japanese snacks. I believe there is a Japanese drink as well. Okay. So we are You're going probably to... not going to drink that at all. <laughs> it depends what's in it. It depends what kind of drink it is. I'm willing to try anything. So. Now we need these scissors <laughs> yeah, just to just cut the box open. There you go. And I'll just put it up on my knee slightly. <laughs> yeah. And I'm breaking the first rule of opening a box, never cut towards you. <laughs> so safety conscious. <laughs> mm. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna... Oh, there's a big one in there. Oh yeah, we've got something peeking out of there, something that demands to be released. Wow. Oh, that wow. is, I like how, if I just try and show you guys this yeah, without this. tipping it without everything falling out it's completely stuffed yeah I'm just like if i try and shake it there's hardly any moving room in there i like that that means i'm getting my money's worth huh. okay so i'll just pop this off to the side yeah. it's something absolutely adorable on top <laughs> but yeah we've got the um the book for tokyo treats today this month's this is the january 2019 box and the theme is winter wonderland Okay. So yeah, you get a little, um, little puzzle there. Obviously, this is, a, this is obviously a box that's aimed for all ages, so yeah. little puzzle for kids. Uh, we've got the snack menu there, so that's everything we can get, obviously, because the packaging is in Japanese and we need to know what we're eating. Yeah. So it's just a little thing to tell us what we are actually eating, which is good, because then we can know if there's any allergies. Yeah. Uh, there is, because there's a DIY kit in here, there's the instructions for it there. I think I'm showing that correctly. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and bring the screen forward if I can, yeah. but I'll try and remember. And then we've got all the, um, they do like prize boxes, so like subscribers can enter competitions to get another box. Oh. Which is pretty cool. Um, just a little bit of information there as well about Japan. Which is really nice because it's nice to get the information. That's why we're reading through that. Uh, some photos of people who are subscribed to Tokyo Treats, enjoying all their treats, including a cat apparently. I think... there, guys, there's a cat subscribed to this thing. <laughs> there's a cat subscribed. Uh, just some more stuff about like lucky bags and this place, this um, company does streaks as well so the more you order from them the more times you get a subscription you get points okay. and then with those points you can earn rewards like you see there sushi jenga uh Sa saki kit kats uh studio ghibli paper theater okay i want to save up for that guys <laughs> look right there i want to save up for that <laughs> i'll be saving up 13 1380 points I should look so I'm gonna one. save up for that. <laughs> I'm gonna save up for that. Okay, so I'll, so, just, um, I'll have the um, list at my side here so that we know. Should we do it blind to reach in and grab? Well, uh, the first one. Yeah, is the first thing on the top. So should we start with yeah. just the first thing right yeah. off the top? These look absolutely kawaii, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> yeah. Little pandas. We'll see what the box, 
see what the thing says. Uh, these are from the classic so these would be in your box whether you've got classic or premium but premium comes with five extra things so these are crunchy panda can you hold them up uh, yeah. uh, crunchy panda cookie party pack that's a mouthful <laughs> <laughs> the second party pack in this month's box there's two there's another bag there's another party bag somewhere there's another party bag of stuff somewhere um Crunchy Panda Cookies. These cookies are well known for not only their sweet flavour and delicious cookies, but also for all the fun expressions on each cookie. Each bag is packed with fun cookies that are a joy to open and see what each cookie looks like. So we will... I'll see if I can open these without the scissors, because I'd rather not cut this adorable packaging. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We're in. Oh, they're individually wrapped as well. Okay, so we've got a few packets to keep. Yeah, there's six packets. It's a multi-bag. Okay. So, yeah. Aww. Look at the packaging there on each little packet, guys. Okay. If I don't drop it. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't read any of what it says on it, guys. Because it's all Japanese. I would love to know Japanese. You want to pick yeah. out a bag? I think they're all the same. Oh, no, you... Uh, you've, got, you've got a guide to all the different faces, I think. Yeah, so we've got the little guys. Yeah. Great. So we will see. I'm still going to try and open this without. I don't think these are going to open without the scissors. Unless we. Ah, there we go. I can take them from the corner, but I do pull the panda apart. But. Mm. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at them. Okay, let's have a look what expressions we've got. Oh, I've got, uh, I was like, four little biscuits in there. Yeah, you get four in a pack, guys. I'm surprised I can tilt my hand like that with them without them falling off. <laughs> uh, which one shall I eat? Um, oh, this one's cute. This one, I think, I think Frank just crushed. Look, he's blushing. Let's see if I can just block our faces so it'll focus in on that. See the little streak lines? It's blushing. Look at that. <laughs> Such detail. And then my four, which is a figure, scared face, a quiet face, upset face, and okay face. I think this one might be like angry at someone it loves. <laughs> Hearts yeah. on its sidelines, so. Mm. They remind me of something. I was going to say Kit Kat. Um, a little bit, but do you remember um, those little animal cookies? Oh yeah! The little wild cookies you got in here. They were just like a normal biscuit with like chocolate on top. Which I guess these are, but they have white chocolate on top these two. Yeah. That tops it for me. So yeah, should we rate things out of ten? Should we do five so it's more easier? Out of five, okay. I, I say they get five out of five. Yeah, at least five. Like, it would be a four because the biscuit itself is quite flavourless. Yeah, but the chocolate. But the chocolate does make it. up for that. And the packaging as well is adorable. Yeah, I did so, like mine. <laughs> I, was I was trying to bang mine. I was trying to bang it. So, it actually looks like we've got multiples of some things, which I like. Because then, you know, you don't just have one and then never get it again. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to reach in first or shall I reach yeah, in first? Yeah, it's just um, I'm all way over here. I can lift it over to you, can't I? Close yeah. your eyes. Um. <laughs> or look away. And we'll see what she pulls out. Oh, she's going right the way down. I, I, uh, that, I'm not gonna... uh, that I think might be the DIY kit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the DIY kit. We'll save okay. that for either a separate video or we'll do it later. I'll do this on one. in the video. Oh, we'll have that. the fish. Um, has a fish on it, right. That's another thing from the classic. If you hold it up for everyone. Uh, this is the Lucky New Year Taiyaki snack. I apologise if I'm mispronouncing these words. Are you familiar with Taiyaki? Nope. Taiyaki is a fish shaped baked good sold through Japan. It contains various fillings. This snack is based off of that and contains aerated chocolate inside. Like like an aero. Oh, okay. So bubbly chocolate. Yeah. I know. Um, this packaging is a festive design that celebrates New Year and should bring you luck this year. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want me to open it? This will be good for us for Pokemon card openers, so maybe okay. this will give us all. 
I think I need different. Like, I'm kind of not. Yeah, I just thought this is this has got a fish on it. Like maybe it. when me and you open up tag, maybe in the future when me and you open up those tag team packs, mm. the new set that's coming out for oh, Pokemon. I really want to open it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll get Waylord. <laughs> maybe we'll get the Waylord team up. Oh my. The Waylord Magikarp team this up. This is one big fish. Yeah, it's a baked good in the shape of a fish. So should we break? Should we it's, break? It's got it's, a it's line. A no, I mean, well, yeah, go yeah, on then. Uh, so. Two and a pig. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like a wafer. <laughs> I don't think there's actually going to break. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Which one do you want, head or tail? Our tails. <laughs> Heads or tails? <laughs> yeah, and you can see the bubbles. Okay, yeah. Like, I thought it was going to have, like, a bubbled, like, creamy filling, but it's actually, mm. like, like, like I said, like an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting it all over myself. Yeah, no, 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 Chocolate's nice, but I'm not the biggest fan of wafers. Like ice cream cones and that sort of thing. I'm just not I the biggest fan those. of them. So for me, like, the design's adorable. You know, mm. there's real good detail on the fish. Yeah. The packaging's lovely. Like, the packaging and the actual look of it gets a five from me. But on taste, from a personal preference, I say it's a two, and that's mainly because there's chocolate. <laughs> So Darker, I can finish that one off if she wants. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm... my turn to just reach in. Or go for under my pandas. Ooh, I think I feel something I like. Yeah. I think I feel my bow. Yes! It's in my uh, bow. You might as well have that. That's in my bow, guys. I know my bow very, very well. Yeah, we had Which it, flavor is it? Yeah, I, I, I buy these every time, any time I can get them. Which flavor uh... have we got? Ooh, it's the cheese one. Umaibo is Japanese number one favourite Dagashi series. This time we've included a scrumptious cheese flavour that will keep your savoury craving satisfied. Every bite will make you smile. Hmm. Okay, now I do still have the taste of chocolate in my mouth, so... Chocolate and cheese don't really go <laughs> hand in hand together. Do you want to try a bit of the cheese one? Yeah, okay. I like how he's... um. Oh, <laughs> so he's just rocking out with a mic there. He's got his little um, sunflower friend down there on the guitar. <laughs> That's a sunflower, isn't it? That's what I said. Little sunflower friend on guitar. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't hear you. I'm going to keep the fish pattern. So I did cut off a bit of his tail, so I'm going to keep that. So nice fish. I like fish. Well, funny enough, I've got two fish. One of them, well, has a black eye, so it's called Magic Up the Pirate. First thing that comes to my mind when I see that is giant what's it? Mm. <laughs> I know if any of you are in America, I know there are no what's it in America. No. Is it? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. They have cheese puffs, but they don't have what's it's like we do. Mmm. Oh. That's nice. Like, it doesn't taste processed, it tastes mm. like proper cheese, mm. which I really like. I hate when things taste processed, like when they say cheese flavour, I expect it to taste like cheese I get out of my fridge. Yeah. Not like, say, stringy processed cheese. Yeah. So that's um, five out of five for me. I have yep. yet to find a new my bar I don't like. Five. <laughs> you ready to delve? Mm-hmm. Shall I move the drink out of the way? Yeah, you can save that till last. That looks like it's banana. Yeah, you, oh no. I hope not. I, don't, I do not like banana. It's either banana or vanilla. Um, oh, little thing. Um, that's like a chocolate wafer. Let's have a look. Oh, don't lose it. Mm -hmm. You're losing your mind, No. She's losing her food! Um, ah, there it is. This is another thing from the classic. Do you want to show everyone? Yep. Uh, this is a... Glico Balanced Nutrition Chocolate Brownie Bar. <laughs> they like bar names, don't they? You're going to have one that has nearly five, uh, five times three sentences in one go. Make this year a balanced, healthy one for you. Start on that path with this Balanced Nutrition Chocolate Brownie Bar from the popular brand Glico. It is packed with various vitamins and minerals that many people like, lack to keep you energised and feeling amazing throughout your busy day. It's night time, so I don't know how that's going to work. 
Okay. Again, really nice packaging. Like, you see there, all the different... It's like vitamin tablets. Mm. Like, from afar, they look like balloons, but then you're looking on them, they've got, like, letters on them. Oh, F, E, and A something, I think I saw. Apparently, this is the mini version. Oh, so the bigger version. Yeah, it says... It says there. Uh, the only word I can make out on that. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, I'm, I might be quite a harsh cr critic here because I make brownies. <laughs> Uh, I'll make brownies, so <laughs> I'll make a very good brownie. That's a very hard for a brownie. Feel it. It's hard for a brownie. <laughs> I can squeeze it a little bit, but not like a lot. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, that looks. Well, that's what the brownie looks like. Yeah. Make you the all hungry. Slab. <laughs> If it just said nutrition bar. Mm. Well, nutrition. But since it says chocolate brownie nutrition bar, I'm judging it as a brownie. Mm. And it neither tastes like a brownie nor feels like a brownie because it's quite dry on the on the inside, guys. Like you can see there, it's just most brownies you should be able to squeeze and just. Like, I'm putting I... so much pressure behind that, like my hand is shaking. Yeah, I and can... I'm only barely squeezing it. If it's push it like that you can feel push you can feel the pressure yeah like if i push it like that like i'm putting so much pressure behind this and i'm very slowly breaking it rather yeah, than I squeezing can, it i can feel where i've actually pushed it and it's like only a bit but a brownie you should be able to just squidge hmm. so as a nutrition bar it's nice as a brownie no <laughs> so I'll, I'll give it mm, 2.5 I'll give it I'll give it a middle rating. I give it four. <laughs> like I like how it's I found it quite tr crunchy. I like crunchy stuff and that yeah. was like really nice to have. Yeah, I like crunchy stuff, but when I think of brownies I think of soft melt in your mouth brownie. It's mm. really rich and chocolatey. Yeah. Okay. I, I would say I would probably have mostly like half and half of both those put together. If they put those together, I think that would work. Yeah. Because you have the soft bit like, and then the crunchy I definitely part. like the fact that they included a nutrition bar in here. That they made sure to include something, you know, vitamin based and yeah. healthy for you. Because Japanese are very clean. They're trying to be very good with a lot of things. Yeah. So it's, in a way, Japanese are very neat. Oh. Have, a, have a delve around. I'm trying to find the hidden stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh we what got a is... big thing. Do you want me Whoa. <laughs> it's new! <laughs> oh, it's a new. Do you want to check it while I show them? Apparently, guys, this is something new. <laughs> we know that much. This is the giant chocolate bar puff. <laughs> it's a puff. Make your winter wonderland sweet with this giant chocolate bar puff. This puffy snack is coated with chocolate and peanuts. For a sa sweet and savoury flavour that will make you devour the whole bar in one go. I probably will. One giant bar just won't be enough. Note, contains peanuts. Oh, you don't be... like peanuts. I'm, I'm not allergic, so I will try it, but I do not like nuts. <laughs> do you want me to open them? No. That was a good <laughs> catch. <laughs> Let's have a look. Actually, I'm going to put the camera a little bit down. There we go. So they can see a little bit more downer. They're having trouble. I like how they've done the packet. It's like colourful and shiny. Yeah. Rainbow. Ooh. I've done them. Do you want... Wow. <laughs> Should I take the whole thing no, out? No, not take the whole thing out. If we so yeah, the... that's <laughs> what it looks like. So drain... Oh, I should We go bowl down here, by the way, guys, if you're wondering where I've gone. <laughs> here you go. If you're wondering where I went, <laughs> we've got a bowl down here. It's got like a flaky inside. In case we don't like anything, which I'm probably going to end up spitting this out. <laughs> just don't oh, do it in front I'm... of the camera. Big bit there. Yeah, we'll just put that on the side. I'll probably have all the food that I've wanted here. <laughs> so. I 
I can't take to the nuts and I'm I, I can a little bit but I suppose that's because I'm 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 someone that doesn't like nuts so mm. I can pick up on it more yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a that's a zero for me <laughs> like and even if I did like nuts mm. I just could not imagine eating something that's like that's like half the size of my arm guys <laughs> put it down a little yeah like it's that. like look that is literally the size of my forearm i, I couldn't imagine eating something that big in one sitting could you i would <laughs> because i have you have those big chocolate bars i eat half of that in one day a chocolate a big chocolate bar i could eat but Something flaky like that, that's so dry on the inside, I wouldn't be able to eat it all in one I would go. say I'm going to make that four because there wasn't the taste of the nuts too much. I could taste something, but I can't tell what it was. Mm. It might be the nuts, but I can't tell nuts. I can't tell the difference between nuts and it's my Yeah, So that gets like a monkey. I'll, I'll, I'll let it have a one because I do like the packaging. <laughs> oh, oh, it's got a little bunny. Rabbit. Oh, is it one of the... It's a bunny, um, little bunny. Here yeah. we go. This is another thing that's from the um, classic. We haven't actually gotten any of the actual stuff that's um, new, the premium stuff yet. We haven't got to those yet. Probably. <laughs> Have all the premiums last. That would be quite good. Uh, this is savoury wheat crackers. Uh, These wheat crackers use natural oils and salts from... I apologise in advance if I mispronounce this location. Okinawa to create a crunchy, salty <coughs> cracker snack. Pardon me, sorry. We imagine the white bunny on the packaging yeah, sure. running around in a scenic winter wonderland as well. I was thinking bouncing. They should have said bouncing because <laughs> it's got no legs. You're quite right. It's a Digimon! It's a baby Digimon! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, which one is it? Which one, oh, is, which it? one is it? Oh, you got to think about oh, it. There's a Digimon who looks like a dinosaur and he's actually... No, it's not. No, it's not Agumon's baby. No, I was thinking of that one first. For he some does reason. look a little bit like a rabbit with the jolty. <laughs> so yeah, look guys, it is a true baby Digimon. <laughs> they should make that into a Digimon. So do... I like my little fishy. Oh, one feature about the little fishy, it's got like a smiley, lippy face. Which is a bit funny. Okay. Should we save a whole one and split it off? Yeah, so I can eat the other one. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Drop it. Okay. I'm not the biggest fan of like wheaty crackers. They're just normal hard wheat cracker. Quite plain. I mean, you can taste the salt. I think there's like, oh, now I think that kicked in. I think I yeah. ate them a little bit. I think I would have this as like, um, like an after meal kind of thing. Hmm. Like maybe between like a main course and a pudding. I would have just them for to breakfast. settle. I suppose you could eat them for breakfast. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say that gets about a, um, I'll give it a four, you know, it's, I mean, you know, it's not. Over, it's not like bang it flavor, would, hmm. but you know it does what it says on the packaging. It actually tastes really nice, so I'm going to give it four point five uh, points because it's how the flavor is. Let's get the salty taste out. I actually like the taste. And the one, I mean, just because of other snacks, you know. <laughs> You're gonna be nibbling that all day now, <laughs> all night, sorry. Okay. Are you Sorry, fine. Food? I'll make it five. I'll make it five since I like it. <laughs> she went back for a second bite. She's got to give it a five now. <laughs> Should I go delving? Uh, yeah. Unless we do all the... Uh, what's the next one? You want to go through all the classic stuff? Yeah, here. let's do the um, classic and then we'll do all the main ones at there's the There's the DIY kit. So the DIY kit is in the, st the classic as well, guys. So mm -hmm. if you get their classic one, which is a bit cheaper. I can't remember the price off the top of my head. Um... It's a little bit cheaper. You won't get the drink and you won't get four of the snacks, but you will get the DIY kit, everything we've shown you so far, only in the January one. It changes month by month. Okay, so we've had that, we've had that. Well, we've had that, we're going to be doing that. 
we've had that, we've had that. Um, this one. Um, which I think we... Yeah, that's this. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this... I was like... It's like a shop display, isn't it? Yeah. This is... Calby Shrimp Sticks Share Pack. The share pack this month is one that lets you feel guilt free while enjoying a savoury shrimp stick snack. That is a lot of S's. Mm. <laughs> this snack does not use oil to fry these sticks, has reduced sodium, and is packed with natural calcium from the shrimp. Who will you share these with? I will share them with Barker 1998. <laughs> So, yeah. so it just, seems like you get one of those um, strips like every month. Like this is my first time with Tokyo Treats, guys. I've had other subscription boxes. This is my first Tokyo Treats, and so far I have no problem with paying for next month's. <laughs> no, I'm definitely going to eat all that. <laughs> just rubbish. So that's the like packet if you just got it like that. It looks like that's one pound. It looks like it, it does like, a little bit. Unless one p. How I pack it, I would say. Oh, you can smell the shrimp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you a fan of fish? I'm, I'm getting there. Like I'm getting... eating fish, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting there. I think it's a smell. It's not green. I'm trying to get one. There you go. They're quite curly as well. Ready? I hope you're going to clean that. Oh well. <laughs> it's like, it's not that it's gross, it's just... Quite plain. Yeah, it's quite bland, but then it kind of hits you kind of all in one second kind of thing. Mm. Oh, I think I'd read those about uh, two or a three, I'd say. So I'll say a 2.8. Mm. Because, you know, I'm not a fan of them personally, but they do do what they say on the packaging, and the packaging's nice. There go. I just don't want my bedroom to smell like a fish. <laughs> I just realised that that might be one problem there. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's so bad. No, it's not an I overpowering it, smell. I think the only disagreement I don't like is the smell. The smell's the only problem I've getting. Yeah, the smell is a bit strong when you first, like, if you put your nose to the back, yeah. like we did. If you had your, like, your nose blocked and ate them, you would probably enjoy them. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Uh, we've had those, had that, had that. Just this one. There's one last thing for the, uh... For the thing. That's not it. The classic. That's not it. Um, there's one last thing for the classic. I think, yeah, it's this. Ooh. It's a diff different packaging to what's in the book. This is cute cotton candy. Oh, so oh, it no. is. Something of fluffy mounds of snow reminds us of sweet fluffy cotton candy, which is why we included this sweet cotton candy snack is often enjoyed at Japanese festivals. Yeah. Maybe. It's an incredibly adorable packaging that just screams kawaii too. <laughs> and is it like a little fish in a... Uh, oh, no, no, that's Cat, a I think. No, that's a balloon. I was talking about the balloon. Oh, the balloon, okay. Oh, it's more figures. I thought you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, not the cat. Right I'm not the biggest fan of cotton candy. I am. And Just because, sister. like, I never really had overly sugary snacks as a kid, so. Well, <laughs> Dark Rice so oh, desperate no. to eat it, she's <laughs> biting the packaging. No, I can't open it. It's, it's like. Oh, there you go. Uh, that's it's literally my... just a wad of cotton candy. I couldn't open that. I had to use my teeth. Go on. Nope. <laughs> oh. The thing is, though, this just reminds me of cotton wool. That's all I can think of there. It literally looks like medical cotton wool. And that brings back really bad taste memories for me. Luckily, this doesn't taste like medical cotton wool. <laughs> Quite nice, actually. Oh, 
I say I get about a a 4.8 because it's something I would like I would pick at mm. but I wouldn't eat it <laughs> no I'll take my time and then I'll finish it off yeah. mm. I mean like I'd eat it but I'd have it as like a keep it for a while kind of snack okay so that's all of the um that's everything you get, everything we've shown you so far, plus the DIY kit, is all part of the classic, guys. So considering the classic is under £28, mm. then you know, considering everything you're seeing here comes in £28, I think that's great value. Mm, yeah. And what we've shown you so far wouldn't even cost you £28, so I think it's good value. Okay. I'm gonna have to end Should up. Should we go through them top to bottom or? Uh. Because I want to save those for last. <laughs> yeah, let's go upwards. Let's go upwards. You want to go upwards? Okay. Yeah, so then you got the drink and then you got the dessert. <clears throat> want to show everyone them? That's a weird that, looking dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These guys with the little weird king guy there are salty seaweed puffs. What? One to snack that's white as snow but definitely much tastier. Then these salty seaweed snacks are perfect for you. These rice puff snacks are easy to eat and feature a savoury salt flavour that is topped with umami from seaweed flakes. I have not tried seaweed before. So that's going to be... I'm pretty a... sure you have in another video. Have I? When we've done my other ones. Uh... And we've done my Japan crates. Guys, in the description, Umami. in the description, could you try and find that so I can find it? Although I don't think we've ever actually uploaded the video. I, I think we did. I think I did. Um, like any time something says it's umami flavored, that's seaweed. I feel so weird opening something. I've got a friend who's OCD. She would hate this. Oh, because it's open. Yeah, side. open it from the side. <laughs> she would hate it. Mm. Unless I'm gonna tear it like at the top. Just so that if she watches this, she's not upset. Mm. <laughs> she's not upset. We've opened it the right way up. You know who you are. <laughs> it's like a quaver. Look, yeah, it's like a quaver. It's the first thing that comes to my mind. I don't know about you. Like a quaver, but there is another crisp that I know that has like green bits on it. I'm not sure what it's called. I quite like them. I like them as like a go slow stack again, like because the see the um, umami flavor is quite powerful. Yeah. So I wouldn't just go. Oh. No, no. <laughs> uh, but I would definitely have them as like, the, especially with the size of them as well. Like they'd be good for like a packed lunch or something. Mm -hmm. I would say I would because then it when I had it, I actually smelled like the ocean for some yeah. reason. I don't know why that did. Now, I don't think it even smells like the ocean actually. I think it just smells like sea. Just smells like seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then we've got um I've got a friend who would love this just because of who it's based on. Oh we'll just eat it then. Show everyone. <laughs> yeah. We'll just eat the whole thing for you. Make sure you show them the little guys at the bottom. Yeah. I, sh I suspect anyone who knows Japan should know this little character, this little egg dude. I don't. This is Gudatama Custard Chocolate Bar. Gudatama is here to warm your heart throughout this chilly season. Gudatama also brings you a gift. This chocolate bar is a unique custard flavour and is decorated with Gudatama to celebrate his fifth anniversary. Are you a fan of this lovable little egg? No. <laughs> I've got a friend that really is. Okay. She's a new friend. She's a new friend. But... Oh. but like me, I've made new friends and they would do anything just to get me a chidup. And she loves Gudetama. So I'll have to make sure I save at least a uh, bit of this. I was going to say, don't do it. We're just going to be naughty and just eat the whole thing. Hmm. That's what it looks like, guys. Stripey. I'm going to turn around because there's like dark black. There's like. Stripey chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the inside, so it's like really flaky. Like, 
Ten out of five. I don't care if that doesn't make mathematical sense. I love custard, I love chocolate. I love a nice creamy snack. Mm. That's everything I like in one, guys. My friend, I am, I will, my friend, if she watches this, you know who you are. You know who you are, my good Atama friend. Um, I'll try and save you some. Let's <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll eat the whole thing. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Next we have... Oh, wow. Some crisps, or chips, as they call them. Oh. These are, apologise if I mispronounce, Koikea black pepper chips. Or crisps, as we call them. Popular chip crisp. I'm going to say crisp everywhere it says chip, just because it's what I say. Yeah. It's what we say here in Britain. Popular crisp brand, Koikea, brings you these are absolutely addicting black pepper crisps. The pepper spice combined with a refreshing potato flavour and a crunchy crisp will help you feel... will help you feel go into... I don't think they're meant to put that feel in there will help you feel go into this year in an uplifting mood. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't, no. There is also a different packet apparently it's showing on the mm. corner. I think that's red peppers. Let's have a look. The one with the long red strips. Yeah, I think that'd be like chilli peppers. Mm. I'm glad we don't have that one. <laughs> I mean, I like, I like spicy food personally. Oh, that's not nice <laughs> as I open it. Although one thing that is disappointing See the size of this pack, guys? You expect a lot of crisps. Yeah, it's like half in there. But if you look all the way down there, the crisps start like here. So that's... that's um, a, I think that's a disappointment because what happens if you have another friend? Yeah. You want to have a movie, you want to have... Like, if I went to a shop and say I was having a movie night and I wanted a bowl of crisps, I'd buy a bag this big expecting it to feed two people. Mm. That three. would barely fit. That would barely feed one person. Uh, we've got a, we've <laughs> got a very old. Um, uh, so yeah, crisp. I got the big fat one. She's got one that looks like a Pringle. <laughs> yeah, actually. Mmm. That's really nice. Oh, there's the kick. <laughs> there's the pepper kick. <laughs> they are nice. I like them. I want to experiment on those on my nan. <laughs> <laughs> you can Ooh. fight against it. You can fight against it. Did you eat your entire thing or not? My entire crisp, yeah. I think the reason I can fight it is because I have been trying a lot of hot stuff now. Yeah, so I say five out of five. Mm. Well, yep. no, actually, f four out of five. Four out of five because I'm disappointed in how much was in the packaging. Because the packaging was very misleading. Yeah, four point, four point five for me. It's just the packet. That's yeah. all. But the actual packaging itself is lovely. I'm getting Hello? burnt this, on the this lip. little, this little granny. Let's see if I can. I think it's a granny. This little old angry woman down here. Actually, I think she might be sneezing. Black pepper's known for making people sneeze. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get rid of the black pepper flavour, partially because... I think this I could don't. work. Don't look so at it wants... yet. Uh, what do you guess this is going to be, if it's yellow? I really hope I'm wrong, but banana? You can see that. It's pandora, I think. Pandora? Parade milk. Oh no, milkshake! I hate milkshakes. Um, ring in the new year and create a truly festive winter wonderland with a parade. A parade milkshake, that is. Oh, that's what I said. There's this milkshake parade. drink features a nostalgic milkshake rich flavour that is incredibly smooth and lasts for a while even after you drink it. 
<laughs> what? Can you say that again? Like the flavour lasts. Oh, so you could leave it out and it will stay the same. Like after you drink it, the flavour will stay in your mouth. Uh, well, that's going to be a little bit awkward. Note contains eggs and milk. Why eggs? Why has it actually got eggs on it? I suppose I'll have it first then. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't taste too much like a milkshake. Because I like normal milk. I don't like milkshakes. That's actually really nice. I kind of just want to like... Just so I can see what the actual liquid itself looks like. It's like um... Looks like cold tea. <laughs> I actually like it because it, it does it, actually... If I can just like see if I can show you guys on the lip there. It kind of looks like cold. It kind of looks like tea, doesn't it? Yeah, I actually. It tastes like cold tea. Yes, cold I do tea. drink. Yeah, <laughs> I have dry, tried cold tea and it smells kind of like a creme brulee. Yeah. Creme caramel. Mmm. There you go, you got a milkshake that you might agree with. Yeah, I actually do agree with that. It's... It tastes like, um. Yeah, like. Like a creme caramel. Like a creme brulee, like a creme caramel. Mm. I like that. I did have a pudding flavoured drink once in my other boxes. Yeah. And that was, it tasted like a creme brulee, but it was so sweet. Mm. It was so unbelievably sweet. I was like, Ugh, uh, uh. so that could have less but sweet. But I like this, yeah. That could have less sugar. Was it sugar you said? It, it was just really sweet. And, but this was nice. I like this. So you got one drink that you can drink yeah, then. I like that. That's um She's gonna take that now. I'll give that a uh I'll give it a four point eight because it's not something like I wouldn't chug it. Mm. But I would definitely like sip it. It'd definitely be a sipping drink. Yeah. Okay, last Bye. thing, which is I've been looking forward to this. Yeah, that's Because this I... was advertised on their um webpage as like a feature thing for their prim premium box. Have you noticed I've been doing really well? I've been agreeing with most of these yeah. birds. Like this is a this has been a very good box, I think. Very full as well, which is mm. really nice. I think my challenge is to see if I can get through good amounts. <laughs> we know that. Yeah, man. you can tell what it is already. <laughs> oh, these think. are Kit Kats, but they're not any ordinary Kit Kats. These are strawberry tiramisu Kit Kats. Smile all winter long with this month's party pack of strawberry tiramisu Kit Kats. These, these feature a sweet and sour strawberry taste that is balanced by a smooth tiramisu coffee flavour. We do English. Share we? them to keep, or keep them all for yourself. They say I love Kit Kat. That means yeah. there's English in it. Yeah, we like, I, like, I love how many different flavours of Kit Kats there are in Japan. But we we just have chocolate on here, don't we? No, we got chocolate. We got white. We got white chocolate now. Yeah, we've only recently got white chocolate. We haven't like <laughs> you know we don't have like strawberry tiramisu or anything like that. We just have chocolate. Oh, just oh, little, minis. little fun sized ones. Yeah, I don't agree with the drawings too much because they're a little bit. They're more like children of drawings. Maybe that's maybe that's the point. Oh, is it? Mm. Kind of looks like when people leave like, you know, they have like those boards that you could just leave messages on. Oh yeah. Kind of looks like that. I think that's probably mm. like the point, like a community kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, because right now I can see like a pen. Yeah. <laughs> have a break. Have a Kit Kat. <laughs> That used to be my nickname, Kit Kat. Mm. Oh, that's powerful. I can actually smell the strawberry. Can you smell it? Mm. I just opened the, the back tiramisu. end. Little white Kit Kat. Do you know you... what annoys me? Um, I once saw this Try Not To Get Mad challenge. Mm. And they gave them this normal size Kit Kat that was wrapped up. And they said, break us a piece off. They opened it up and it was bitten. Out of the corner. Oh. <laughs> that would make me mad. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That is so nice. Like, 
Tiramisu, when I first went to have it, was never something I thought I'd like because of the coffee. Mm. Oh, there's the coffee kick. But it's not too strong. Not too much coffee. Yeah, it just tastes the coffee now. Yeah, it's not too much of a coffee kick though, is it? Yeah. Um, the only time I've had coffee, I think, was when I mistaked my mum's tea, uh, coffee for my tea at one point. Mm. Or was it? No, it was because I tried a bit because they were just seeing if I liked it. But she had more tea than me. Uh, she's had a cup of teas because she accidentally drank my <laughs> tea at one point. <laughs> like, she was tired and she had two cups. I was like looking at her, seeing her cat pick up my cup and actually drink it. I was like, that's my cup. Goes to the sink to spit out. <laughs> Yeah, so the box is now completely empty. It's even got the design on the inside, mm. which I really like. And there's all the information there, guys, for you for Tokyo Creeps, all their Twitter and Facebook. So get on there, spread the word about them. <laughs> With the um, coffee, I think I just had a big mouthful. Don't have a mouthful because it will kick too much. Unless you're a big fan of coffee. Yeah. But yeah, tiramisu. I never thought I would like tiramisu because of the coffee. But tiramisu doesn't have that strong a coffee flavour. No. I would say that's uh, four because um, the only disappointment was that uh, I think the only thing about that was it kicked a bit too much for me. I'll give it 4.5 because like, mm. I'm not the biggest coffee fan but the strawberry, the white chocolate the fact that they're Kit Kats. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say... All made up for it. I was going to say, I think I've got the most I actually want to eat of. <clears throat> I said that all the time. Only thing we've got left now, guys, is the DIY kit. Should we do a separate video of that? No, we. I can I can attach that to the video because I'm an editor now. Okay, we will. this will be edited on, onto the end. We have English guidance <laughs> which is good because some some crates you don't actually get the guidance for so you're looking at the back and you have pretty much as drawings <clears throat> sorry guys there's drawings there and you're like okay so that's that so i think i do this <laughs> do you want me to have a look at it but um yeah i can actually understand the drawings but um yeah there's actually where is it i'll find them in it. it looks like you got a source and you just Bink it into the like stone kind of things. Oh wow! What? Look at what the Halloween one. Look at what the October one looked like. That's pretty good design. Look at that, guys. That yeah. So cool. should we do this? Yeah. I'll find the so instructions. Oh, uh, wouldn't? Yeah, they're, they're, there they are. There. So we're gonna attempt we're... to follow these. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that now. Okay, what do we need? We need water. Yeah. Okay, so we're here with the DIY kit. The sticky ramonade candy. <laughs> so we'll open it up, looks very festive. With all the crystals. Okay. So we have our spoon. <laughs> Our tray for making it. Just go a little bit down. Yeah, that little uh, character indent. <coughs> and we have our sachets. Okay. Oh, you remember that last time we had that sticky stuff? Yeah. It was all <laughs> over the place. It was all over the place, that one was. Yeah, but after that, it was still in my cupboard and it had leaked all over in the cupboard. Yeah, it's still there. Okay, so we've got three packages. Okay, so pour pouch one. <laughs> Into the round in indent on the tray. So that goes into there. I'm assuming we pour it all in, I'm assuming. Mm. Well, I didn't say not all of it. Well, it says pour pouch one, so. So <laughs> that'll be the whole thing. Then fill the triangle scoop. Yeah, I probably should have detached that first. <laughs> Assume that's this. 
uh, with water. I'll do, I'll do that. Okay. Dark Rose just going to fill <laughs> our triangle <laughs> scoop if she starts dropping it. <laughs> yeah, just fill the whole thing. Uh, yeah, just fill the triangle, the big triangle. Yeah, but come. do you want me to do this because I could and put it in. Oh, that looks nice. That looks cool. Use the spoon and mix the powder and water well. This is very awkward because of the shape of the tray, it's all popped up. Yeah. It's all popped up, wasn't it? So that's one disappointment there. Do you want to say disappointment there? Oh, there we go. I've popped it up now. Okay. I think it was just <laughs> popped out. I, thought, I think it was just popped in because of the... Um, because of being in the post. Yeah. So that's all I am. That's expected, isn't mm. it? In a box that crammed. Yeah. So does it say what it has to look like? Because right now on the page, what I'm seeing is white. Yeah. Well, obviously this isn't going to. Because if you look there, it's yellow. So it was blue. Oh, so we, it, yeah. so it could I be... think we might have a different flavour to what they're using. Oh, uh, next, pour pouch two. <laughs> <laughs> it's magical stuff into the round indent, so into here again. And use the spoon to stir well until the colour changes. Oh, this is... So it's going to change again. Yeah, you can actually smell it. Okay. <coughs> I love these packagings. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> If you're wondering what all that noise is with the little coughs, oh, that's my... Oh, it's already nice. changing. Ooh. Can you see it? Yeah, they can see it. Just keep it like that way a little bit. Yeah. Use my left hand to stir. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Even though I'm not left-handed, but... <laughs> no, I am, though. <laughs> it's definitely pink. Just yeah, I'd say that's colour colour changed. Uh, poor pouch three. <laughs> oh, it likes everything. <coughs> pouch three is colourful Ramune candy into the character shaped indent. Which is the apple, so this could be apple flavour. This must be like a little pudding, I think. Mm. He's got a little flick on top of his head. Ooh. Oh, they look Any nice. Uh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do it. I was going to. Leave it there for a second, <laughs> and we zoom in. Oh, a bit too far up. Sorry, you know what? they can see. <laughs> yeah, they can see all the little sprinkles now. Okay, and then you just use the spoon to scoop a bunch of the candy mixture, dip it in the ramen candy, then eat your treat. <laughs> um, do you want to so, go first? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'm going to... I was about to say, do you want to show your face so you can... <laughs> So they can see my reaction. So it's nice to know that it's not goopy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did they put it on to full? Oh, yeah. That's why it was still full, uh, full zoomed. Yeah, oh, so you zoomed in <coughs> on my nose, were you? No, it was like right at your head. Okay, so we're uh, dunked. I'd say that's fairly well dunked. Yeah. I've had Ramune before. It's kind of like a soda, and it's really nice. Mm. And you can definitely taste it in there, and it is sharp. <laughs> it is very sharp, but I want... like it. Want to try? <laughs> yeah, I'll try a bit. Hey, dark rice turn now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not gonna like take the whole like stuff. So you got... she's got her spoonful of crystal. Okay. Now they are very cr crunchy, so. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad actually. I think I'm that's kind of wondering what the mixture tastes like just on its own. <laughs> yeah, you can taste like I like it that the mixture isn't bland. Yeah. The mixture has its own taste, which is really nice, and you've got the Little shards. Which you would definitely need to brush your teeth 
<laughs> thoroughly after. Yeah. Because they are literally crystallised sugar, guys. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, okay, not in that screen. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we'll go... So, I'd say that's a successful DIY kit that hasn't made a mess. Yeah. One mess that we didn't get to have a problem with. I mean, there's a bit, a bit of powder, but... Yeah, just a bit. Little bits of powder, but reasonably low mess. So I say that's a success. Yeah. So yeah, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and to both of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> and hit that bell icon so you're notified of every video we both do. <laughs> And we will put a link in the description box if you like what you've seen and you want to try one out for yourself. We'll put a link in the down below to where you can get your own. And I am going to put the description down on my video to Nerdy Tiger's videos if you're looking at her at her videos as well because you've got my videos, you might have something different on her videos but not with this camera. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately yours. Yeah, died. my camera died before we started filming. <laughs> Yeah, so, so sharing footage. hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Bye guys! I was going to...